Hello, I'm Brian Johnson. I'm an emergency room physician, and today we're gonna to use the Clarius PAL probe to look at the internal jugular vein for central line access. We're not gonna perform a central line today, but what we're gonna do is identify the sonographic landmarks for a central line. And so you have the patient supine and the head rotated laterally. Typically we'll do, be doing a right IJ, but you can certainly do a left IJ as well. So you're gonna take your probe and place it on the side of the neck like so. And what you'll immediately see is the sternocleinomastoid on top, and you'll see this large triangular structure that seems to be variating with respiration, and that's the internal jugular vein. When I compress down, you see that the internal jugular vein compresses as well, and that proves it's a vein in the internal jugular vein. What you want to stay away from or also identify is the carotid artery. The carotid artery sits deeper and more medial. It also has a thicker walled membrane, and when you put color flow, you see that it's pulsatile, and that's the carotid artery. Go back to 2D. Ultrasound can help with accuracy of identifying the internal jugular vein and help minimize complications. Thank you. <laughs>